So this is a Traxxas TRX4 tire and did you know it could perform like one of the best tires out there aftermarket? Listen in and find out more from RC Review. So you get your TRX4 RTR tire and everyone tells you get rid of those stock tires, they're awful, they're junk, get some real tires. So that's what we did and we went ahead and bought some tires, some Proline, some Hyrax, some Pitbull, Rock Beast XLs and little did we know it's going to cost well over 100 bucks. 60 bucks for tires, 50 bucks for wheels, bead locks, and then uh, maybe a little more, another 40 bucks for, for foam. So big investment. But as we learned more, we found out that these Traxxas tires are actually pretty dang good. The rubber is pretty gummy and it lasts a long time, a rare combination. But there are some flaws in the system. So listen in and find out how to fix them all or some of them. So the first one, before we break into the, the tire, let's say you, it's already glued in as, as it came in the kit, you don't wanna mess with it. What's the one thing you could do? It's called cutting the tire. Tire, meet the cutter. So the concept is this. For a crawler tire, you want a knob that's interrupted, like a scooper. It actually turns like this. As it turns, you want it to grab. The problem is, they have all these little knobs that make it a continuous line in the middle to save fuel economy. It's not what you want in a crawler. So, the objective is to interrupt this, this center knob. And how you do it, luckily, the Traxxas TRX4 has a sipe. A sipe is a cut in the knob that allows it to conform, act as two knobs, and what you do is you get a very sharp cutter. We've had a cutter before that wasn't sharp enough, it was no fun, it just didn't work. So what you want to do is get to the base and snip it cleanly. And then you pull it, it's best to cut them all at one time, you pull it, sometimes you can always pull it all the way, but the other way to do it is just pull it and then snip it. So there you go, you have a clean cut of the knob. Again, we'll do it again. Just for old time's sake. Oh, sorry, can't pull it yet. So, so first you gotta cut it. And again, we tried this with a, with a old cutter, big one, no good, but a sharp one. Makes quick work of it. Work of it. So there you go, you get the idea. Now you have a scooper like a shovel. And here is a finished product. What you come up with is this. So it's almost a night and day difference. Here you have a continuous nice fuel economy knob right here. Here you have a scooping knob as you turn in this direction. So that's mod number one. Number two, again before we cut into it, is to sipe it. Siping is the act of putting those horizontal cuts or, or the, those directional cuts like this to make, to make the knob conform. And the direction of the sipe will determine where it has the most grip. So here it has most grip here. If you want it to have more, more grip on the side, you have to cut a vertical sipe. So how you do it is you get a, a Dremel preferably, spinning at a very high RPM and you want the, the thinnest blade you can have. This is just a sanding wheel that's very thin. You spin it and then you get in the middle and cut. So there's the sipe and now you get the idea what it's gonna do. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna articulate more. Give it not quite double the gripping power but a good percentage improvement.
So don't cut, don't cut through the casing, just the knobs. Finished product right here. Look at that. Look at that siping. So we're gonna have some video demonstrating how much better they work. Hopefully they work better, <laughs> but we've tried them before. They're gonna work fine. So that's the second upgrade or mod that we want. And how much have we cost you so far? Nothing. If our review has saved you a little bit of money, why don't you subscribe and hit that notify button.